Megan. I'm Sierra. And I'm Maggie. And, and we're, we're from TC2. TC2. For today's video, we have done a couple videos in the past where we've seen like how many gymnastics skills we can still do. But if we were to have a competition like tomorrow, what level would we be? Especially Maggie, because she's never been. Zero. We only she's only a gymnast as much as we make her be a gymnast yeah. in our videos. So that's what we're doing yeah. again today. I'm literally gonna be level one, if that. Level one and two are combined for this. So I guess let's explain how we're doing this. We were first going to go off of like cut of points, but like that's too complicated and really not worth it. So Sierra found a graphic that we're going to go based off of that has the different events and skills that are required for that level. Supposedly, that's what we're just assuming. Yeah. Um, and so. We're going to stop and like say that we would be this certain level if you can't do everything in the next level. Mm -hmm. So it's not just like the, you can do some here and some here. We're gonna just like say like what level can cut you, you off. Everything. That's it. That's all you're gonna be at for the meet this Sunday. Also, one other thing. Unfortunately, we can't be including vault in this video because the vault's not even really set sad. up in our gym. But also, we're probably gonna skip it anyways. So this is a three-event meet. All right, let's figure out what level we are. So we're starting off with level one and two. We're gonna do floor first. So Maggie's going to read off the list of skills. I'm gonna do them, and hopefully I can make it past this level. Level one and twos. Forward roll. Backward roll. Ugh. Forward chasse. Leg swing. Split jump. Heel snap turn. I'll call that. Hopefully that's what heel snap turn is. It's my turn. We're gonna go through this a little bit faster since you guys kind of have a rundown of what the skills are. This is about to make me feel really bad about myself, but I don't care. Um, it's my brand to not know how to do this stuff. And I never was a gymnast. Even though I was a child, I was like tumbling. Okay, blah blah blah, whatever. I'm literally not gonna be able to do this, so I've always struggled with these. Big kick. Oh, just straighten your leg. I you did not do it. What? Just straighten your leg. Oh, yes. 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 That was. <laughs> Nobody would count that in a real gymnastics. Yes, it would. Chasse. Split jump. That was like a hard one. Turn. Turn. <laughs> Alright, so all of us qualified for floor, so we are on to beam next. Let's see what we have to do. Front support mount. I'm like too tall for this. <laughs> Airbus. How do I have you do it now? Sure. Stretch jump. Honestly, jumps freaking scare me on beam now. Lever. Sure. That's like so slow. Yeah. Don't come for me, you guys. I didn't use that terminology, okay? Pivot turn. <laughs> Lose your balance. Three fourths side handstand. Cut. That's honestly, again, kind of scares me. Why? I don't know. I just haven't done this in a long time. Ah. I don't know why that was scary. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, my turn to do beam for level one and two. Front support mount. <gasps> I don't like that. Press part. <laughs> wait, wait, how do you do that? I think push through your shoulders. Short. Like, <laughs> I'm touching. People do this for fun, are weird. Why? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's not severe. Stretch jump. That's... I think this is scary, though, because you have nobody, like, they, the beam doesn't move to catch you. <laughs> Lever. Whatever that means to you. <laughs> okay. 
That was terrible. <laughs> and lastly, the three quarter side handstand discount. It's a three fourths. <laughs> yeah, that counts. Hey, that we terrible. all made it past level one and two beans. Bars is gonna be the hardest. All right, last event for level one and two that we're going to be doing in this video is bars. Pull over. The cheat. Stop because I can't do that. You can use the rat. Back in circle. I don't know if you'll make it. <laughs> well done. Yeah, so I don't get how this is level one and two. Wrist shifts. What is that? I could only think of like starting low and then rotating your wrist on top, like to show that you can rotate your wrist. That's the only thing I can think of. You can do it. But that's so bad. Side circle. I'm, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do that with plain hand. Yes, you can. Go. Oh See. my God. I Thank you, everyone. Goodbye. I'm done. <laughs> I'm out of the game. All right, now it's my turn to do all of the level one and two bar stuff. Oh. Pull over. Okay, I'm doing my Yeah, like Sierra's form is like looking not too bad. And then I get up. When you do it, because when I did it, I was kind of confused. Do you keep your wrist like that? I saw you shift it. I was like. That was the only thing that felt comfortable. I, like know, you I just, well, I just did it because like, you did it. I didn't know what to do. Top the hat in a minute. That's so funny. That's it. Stride circle. Yeah, that was I it. Just do that. Oh. Pull yourself to the bar. Ah, that was not bad. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it here. I'm done. I didn't even make it past level one. It was level one and two. Oh, whatever. So me and Sierra are moving on to level three, so we're starting back on floor. Leg swings to the side and split jump. What does leg swing to the side mean? <laughs> we're skipping leg swing to the side, not knowing what that is, yeah. but assuming we could do it. Handstand bridge kick over. Handstand forward roll. Like, come on, you're telling me this is level three and bars. What's bars gonna be like for level three? Chasse, leap, and leg swing. Back and roll, push up. Those are. <laughs> Round off, back hand spring is your last mission. Okay, we're back to beam. Now to stand. Just assume that it's like. I think that's a good guess. Cross handstand. Huh? Cross handstand. From our research, a cross handstand seems to just be a normal handstand. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. How do you get, does it have to be like a certain height? I don't. I feel like just like try, you know? <laughs> when was the last time I did a handstand on me? I hate this. This is why you learn back walkovers and other stuff, and it's not as scary. <laughs> oh my god. I'm nervous, okay? I always get scared. I'm gonna like kick too hard and start falling over the beam, that's why. Well, you're not even close. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, we'll count it. I know it's bad, okay? Straight leg like, leap. Like, you guys would be like, Megan, come on, you can do that, but like, I stopped doing this stuff. After we finished our last meet, because I was like, I don't have to do it anymore. Okay. Pivot turns. Wow. Sure. Like heel snap turn. Oh, God. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Cartwheel to one fourth turn dismount. Isn't that the last thing we just did? No. No, it's harder. You can do I it, like, Megan. I feel like I need someone to like stand there. I'm nervous. <laughs> It just me. I don't know why I'm so nervous right now. I feel like I'm not gonna know what to do. Here, do the side handstand first. I'll hold your hips there, and then you pull yourself that way. Like, oh my god, I can't fall over here. I just hit my car. Are you done? Yes. We are done for our last for last person standing. How far we can get? So we'll see. Let's see if we can finish beam. I just did it. That's why I don't want the event, probably, but 
I assume they're mostly talking about the stand part, so. That's not very good. <laughs> Better than mine. That was good. Okay. Is that worse than Megan's? They look the same, I probably. Mean, yeah, I feel like it's close. I switched to split jump instead of leaves, for the record. Thank you. I do that to fall out of my handstand anyway, so. Alright, let's go to bars, guys! Let's go! Alright, so we're on bars. If I can get through all of these, then I will at least be the best gymnast amongst us. And that's, like, good enough for me. So, I just hope I can finish everything on bars. Glide, swing. Oh, that took a lot of core strength. Front hip circle. I feel like those are easier. What? I don't know. Ouch. Shoot through, stride, circle. Can you still do a shoot through? I think so. Easy. Stride circle. Stride circle, backward leg touch. Ooh. Here you go. Actually, this is, I feel like, easier than the forward one, too. Back hip circle under swing. Next, I have my dismount. It's probably not going to be like the best under swing, but I feel like it will count. God. I am officially a level three. I, a level three. Let's go level four. So we're switching things up a little bit. For level four, I went and looked at everything that I would have to do to see what I would need to do to do level four. And I think that a cartwheel and beam is going to be the hardest thing for me to do of everything on the list. So we're gonna start with that to see, basically if we don't waste our time. So if I can't do it, we're not gonna do anything else. And I'll just be level three. I warmed a few up on the low beam. And we're gonna see if I can get one in a reasonable amount of time. All right, got one tap. Oh my god, we're gonna have to it. go through everything again. Ugh, I just want to get it. We're gonna speed through these. Cross hands in one second hold. One Mississippi. <laughs> like, does that count? That's a short it? second. Does it have to be all the way at the top? I don't know. Okay. That one you got. Yeah, that one was one second. Split jump, straight jump. Turn. That's all. All right, we are on floor. I think I can do all this. We're gonna try and like hurry up a little bit. All right, we are on two bars for level four. Let's see if I can do everything. Wide kick. Horizontal. Okay, we're gonna okay. be critical with this. We're gonna make sure. Try my best. Oh god. I think you were just above horizontal. Oh really? Maybe I like out horizontal. Try again. Horizontal. Try again. That oh, was above. I like that. That was above. Ow. Squat on, jump to long hang kick. This is the other thing where I was like. Yeah, when we don't do squat ons very often because we did our release move. Where it's like, I didn't do these, so it might not be good. But. God. Like, I think that was probably the worst you could have done it for you to pass. <laughs> I never competed those. But I think you did it. Honestly, your specs that. That was harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> Alright, so. As much fun as it would be for me to go to level 5 and, like, do everything again. I already looked ahead. I know. I could never do a long hang pullover. So like the idea of me doing one three years after the fact that I retired is not gonna happen, which means I won't pass level five. So I will happily take level four. Real quick, we wanted to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't heard of Skillshare, Skillshare is an online learning community with tons of new classes to help you explore new skills. Some of the topics we think you guys would enjoy are the film and video and the lifestyle categories. So we all took the class called Social Media Stardom, Making the Most of Instagram by Lolo Jones. 
My favorite part of the class was actually how she gave a lot of different app recommendations for how you could easily edit videos on your phone, splice mm -hmm. things together. I think my favorite takeaway from the class is utilizing Instagram stories more often. I am really bad about using my Instagram stories and she just recommended using it as a way to engage with your audience a little bit more. My favorite thing from this class was that Lolo is like very personable in it. I always learn better from a teacher who I feel like I can connect with and I know and not just like some robot just like speaking facts to me. I lose interest very fast and she was very personable and kept it interesting just because I felt like I was getting to know her as we went through. Skillshare was created with learning in mind so there's no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. And best of all, it's only $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first 1,000 of our subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of the premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Okay, we hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Quick level review. So at the meet this weekend, Maggie I will, will love be sitting out. <laughs> I will be competing level one or two. And I'll be competing level four. How did that happen? <laughs> it's because my fears overtake yeah, me now. It is. Like you have a lot of skills. I think it's just like one or two within the mix of like between level like one and two that's how we four. chose to do the video so you know, you know it is what it is you can't just not have the required skill and expect to be able to compete shout out from last week's video goes to this person on the screen thank you so much for watching and supporting our videos for a chance to shout out in next week's video comment down below which level you are if you're in like a cheerleader you can comment down on your cheer level if you're just like in rec classes too comment like what you think based off of the grading that we did in this video if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not but we will see you next tuesday